In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a Nintendo Switch or Lite, Nintendo Switch Lite, that the battery just won't charge any longer. You might have the screen on and it's on the screen, but it just won't charge, or it's just black and then you just keep having like a charging indicator. So we'll go ahead and troubleshoot that. The first thing I want you to do is remove these joysticks if it's not a Lite. So we'll go ahead and remove those by pressing this button here, pulling that up, and as you can see, they do still retain electricity. And that's why I'm saying take these off so it'll help your switch power up quickly. Now after you do that, if you've been using the same outlet, and if you have a Nintendo Switch genuine official charger, the better, but it's not, it's not imperative. So you can use a generic one, you could use a Samsung Galaxy charger or something with a USB-C that will work as long as it fits perfectly into here it'll be fine it's you're not going to hurt the voltage or anything by using a different charger so try a different wall outlet if you have to go to a completely different room that's fine as well and then um, if you've tried that try like I said try a different cord if you have, um, if you like I said, if you have a, an LG or Samsung Galaxy smartphone that's laying around, I know I, th I believe the Sony PlayStation uses the uh, the C, if I'm not mistaken. But look around and ask your family members if they have a cord that uh, that's a USB C, and then try another cord. If you, it's possible that the actual wall outlet is broken. That this part. And it's just, you could use just the USB. So what I would highly recommend you do is take your Nintendo Switch to a laptop or preferably a desktop and just plug in the USB portion into the laptop to your Nintendo Switch. That way um, you could rule out that it's actually this part that goes into the wall that's broken. Okay, if you've tried that, what I want you to do is try charging it longer. So try ch charging your... Nintendo Switch, and a lot of times this happens if you've um, if you've been having it sit for weeks, if not months, sitting, and then all of a sudden it won't charge. Well, it's completely drained out. It's drained out of the joysticks if it's not a light, and you just need to charge it longer. So literally plug it in and let it charge for a good half day, if not a full day, and see if that will work because it does take a lot longer to charge these Nintendo Switches. They do take um, a lot of electricity. Now, if you've tried all that, what I want you to do is you're going to hold down the power button, which is right here, and you're going to hold it down for 15 seconds. And literally, you're just going to hold it down for 15 seconds, and then after that, you're going to hit it once. So 15 seconds, and then hit it once. And then see if it will start charging. And you want to do that while it's still plugged into the wall. After you've tried that, I want you to hold down the power button and the volume up button for 15 seconds, and then release and then hit the power once. And then try the volume down button and the power button for 15 seconds, release and then hit the power button once. And then after you've tried all that, what I want you to do is try the home button, which is right here. On the right joystick or on the light it will be a different place hold hold down the home button and then the power button for 15 seconds like that and then release and then hit the power button and then tell me if that works if all else fails you've tried all that um, you can try to clean this little port here the USB C port get like 90% rubbing alcohol just a little bit on like a little q-tip and clean that and make sure that that's um, it doesn't have any dust or anything on it. All right, let me know if one of these methods work, but the primary thing is just to be patient and um, to try different things and to stay calm, and I guarantee you could probably get and get it to work unless it's super, super old. Uh, if it's still under warranty, contact Nintendo and get you another one. If it's not under warranty, just keep calling them and see if they'll, if they'll send you a new one. All right, I do appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later.